Hi, I'm Slack, that's Tony, and welcome to Smog Vlog. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Wismec Venti. Ba boom Okay, so this is Wismex Venti. It's a 3000 milliamp hour battery, very, very similar to the iJust 2 kit, very similar to C5 or 100 watt. Anyway, let's uh, dive down and have an unboxing for you. Right, let's take a look at unboxing the Wismex Venti. So, a quick tour around the outside, you've got the nice shiny silver picture of the unit there. Uh, Venti, it was originally a US one which has been stickered over for the EU market, I assume. Details about the stuff, what's included. You can see the fake leather attempt on the cheap cardboard box there. Wow, there's our unit. It's a big boy. Oh, one hard to access pull tab. One wordy thing. One coil, one usb, and that's it. So for me, and definitely for Tony, one of the things that attracted us to this was the fact that it's very much like a 26650 version of an uh, iJust 2. Here's the iJust 2. You can see what this makes in size, it makes up for in height, that's a lot shorter there. I mean, they're both great looking units. Uh, obviously you have the additional sort of metal protection around the tank on here. Uh, go button, sort of fairly comfortable feel on both of them there. But yeah, size wise, that is a big boy. Okay, straight away let's pull it apart. We'll start with the battery. So there's a nice 510 connector in there. Obviously it's a 26650 size battery. You've got your go button here and your action light over there. Five clicks for on and uh, yeah, you can see the white light there. Coming down the bottom, it's a fairly nice polish on there with some sort of decent engraving. You've got three reasonable vent holes on the bottom there. Coming over to have a look at the tank itself, uh, you have adjustable airflow. Oh, which is nice and stiff. You're going to be able to set that and leave it and it's not ever going to change. One fairly small centre pin. Uh, I would have expected a little bit of a bigger centre pin for a 26650 size mod, but there you go. One double O-ringed removable drip tip with a hell of a wide bore. It's not very tall, but it looks pretty substantial. Getting into the guts of the unit, you can see your tank there, and here's your coil. Nice iron protection around the outside. Well, let's give this a clean up and see what it's got. Okay, thanks Slack for that amazing unboxing. Um, now we usually go to uh, button pushes, so we usually we dive down for that. We're not going to bother this time. Let's go through the button pushes together on the sofa. One, two, three, four, five. five. It's now on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. five. It's now off. Uh, press and hold to vape. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> nice and simple. You know, it, it's the standard affair with these things. You know, they keep it very simple. It detects the resistance of your atomizer that's on there, so you don't need to manually adjust anything. It goes from 0 0.15 all the way up to 5 ohms. That's huge. Five, that's that many. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, cheers Slack for that uh, interesting button pushes. Now let's talk about the tech specs. We're just going to flash a quick thing up on the screen and uh, read the top three for you. Yeah, so it's the 3000 milliamp hour battery. It's 5.8 milliliter tank and it's got a stainless steel construction. That's like the main points you need to know. Yep. Okay, on to button quality. So it's got this button here, and yeah, it's fine. It's, it's slightly raised. It's easy enough to find. You can find it straight away. Also find where the USB port is with your finger when you're holding it. Um, 
it's fine. It does rattle a bit under thumb. It doesn't rattle when it's just loose. It does rattle a bit under thumb. Um, but it works perfectly well. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, next up is the 510 connector. It's sprung loaded and nicely made. I mean, it's... Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Next up, temperature control. No TC on this device? Unfortunately, no. Not no TCR either. <laughs> yeah, funny that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's talk about the tank that comes with this. Obviously, it's a whopping great 5.8 milliliter tank, which is pretty cool. But we'll start at the top. Let's go for the drip tip. So it's a standard fit drip tip. This one's a little bit short. It's a nice wide bore, though. It's pretty comfortable to use. Personally, I'd like it to be a little bit taller. But it's all right, you know, it does the job. Mm. In terms of refilling, I mean, it's, it's a bottom fill, so a bit of a negative there. But this device is from last year, sort of uh, summer sort of time. So this has been sitting waiting for a while. We've had a few other things come up that we've needed to review quite quickly. But going back to the bottom fill, like I said... Um, he loves filling the bottom. Oh, I do. I do really do. Um, you just unscrew the bottom and take it off, and then you've got full access to the whole 5.8 milliliter capacity of it, and it is whopping. So similar to the Cleto then in design, where it's just all the way around. Yes, similar to that in as much as it's like looking in um, a circus mirror, in which case you know how the Solitos, um coils are absolutely fucking massive the ones in this are fucking tiny and you've got this cavernous 5.8 milliliter space to fill it's a bit huge coming further down the device you've obviously got this little window here where you can see your juice level kind of just about if you use your imagine imagination and creativity Further down from that, you've got your airflow. Now, even on wide open, this is quite a tight draw. There's one of these tiny little holes on both sides. They are small, especially coming on the back of the Kalito, which is just like mega, completely unrestricted. You can direct lung hit on this, but there's some resistance there, you know. So, yeah, it is what it is. Let's talk about the flavour now. Tony, how do you find the flavour? Okay, so the flavour for it, after a bedding in period, it, it sort of it, it develops over time. I was quite surprised about this because, as I said earlier, about the size of the coils, they are fucking tiny, and the juice well holes, uh, the ju juice well, the punch out bits in the coil head, what are those? The wicking bits? Yeah. Wicking bits. Wicking holes. Wicking holes? Yeah, sure. Why not? Wick holes. Let's wick do that. wick holes in the coil head. Yeah, sure. The wick holes in the core head are fucking tiny like pinpricks, so I wasn't expecting too much from it. But then you use it and it's fucking, it's really good in terms of vapour. So yeah, like Slack just said, I mean, the, the, the adjustment on the airflow control valve at the bottom of it does, does adjust the flavour slightly for you. I was just maybe expecting more from it. Yeah, same. So th this, you know, on paper, it is like a 26650 size iJust 2. And I was expecting that sort of level of performance out of it. And yeah, flavour-wise, I don't think it has it, you know. You can get good flavour with the restrictive airflow and stuff, but it's not amazing flavour. Those coils are just tiny. Yeah. Um, and they're not going to perform as, as well as other stuff. Yeah, so better flavour on the exhale I find with this device. This is, mm. yeah, with the target tank, which is yeah all about flavour mm. with those ceramic coils. You know, you get the awesome flavour on the way in and on the way out. With this, it's a, it's a lot muted I find, particularly on the wide open airflow here. Mm. On the way in, the the flavour's there on the way out. You know, dreading starting another conversation like the Cleto about the muted flavour, but <laughs> it's, it's it just is a bit, you know. It's all right. Mm. Cleto's better than this, I would say, but only just. Next up, portability, size and weight. Yeah, so it's a fairly short device. You know, it's not giant. It's it's not much bigger than the size of a fist, really. So fucking tiny. Yeah, so apart from, obviously, 26650 format there, a little yeah. bit bigger there. But, yeah, weight, it's a little bit heavier than I was expecting, looking at it. It... it yeah, just a little bit. I mean, it's not ridiculously heavy or anything, but it's heavier than it looks. Yeah. 
that's got to be down to the 3000 milliamp hour battery that they've crammed in there along with the stainless steel that they're using about the whole construction of it so it's a right old weighty little bastard Self-defence device, I think, Tony described this as. I tell you what, you put, you stick a lanyard round this, hang it round your neck, you're never going to be fucking scared to walk home at night ever again. Bang! <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when you're using it, um, the button on your thumb, your finger tucks nicely underneath it and it feels comfortable in your hand. So in terms of portability and sort of using it while you're out and about, it, it feels good. So, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. All right. All right, let's talk about the battery life of the device, Tony. Yeah, so from a single charge, you get a really decent, good all day's charge, uh, all day's charge, all day's use out of it, I found. And that's quite moderate, moderate usage, being me, being a tester, being sitting in front of a PC. So quite a lot. Um, yeah, the 3000 milliamp hour battery really stood up to quite a lot of punishment. Yeah, quite a lot of batteries, you know, they'll say they're 3000 milliamp hour, but they don't perform to that. So I guess Tony's saying this one actually does, which is nice. It's also got a power status indicator, so the light will sort of flash slowly when you've got a lot of charge left. The quicker it flashes, the lower you're getting. It's in several increments, to, it's like strobing the fuck out, and you know it's time to charge it up, which is pretty cool. One of the things I didn't like about the iJust 2 was that you couldn't really see that light, and this one, yeah, it's, it's no worries. You know it's there. You're not searching about for it. It's good. Even in daylight, it works. So, yeah, that, that's quite good. Speaking about the battery charge, um, the the thing says that it takes four hours to charge, which is a fucking long time. But it is only with a one hour one amp um, plug, which we said about earlier. So that's not so bad. It will give it a nice, slow, safe charge. Usually we'd tell you about the battery cover, but this is like a sleek, sealed unit. You know, there is no changing the battery. This, this is what you get is what you get. And you've got your three vent holes down the bottom here, and, and that's it. Nothing to worry about. So, nothing to annoy me with, which is good. Moving on to the style of the device, it, it is lovely and sleek and smooth. It is beautiful. Yeah, I quite like it. It's that sort of all stainless look. Very similar to the iJust 2 with that sort of stainless construction, but less of a glass tank to interfere. Yeah. Got these lines and dots, you know. But it just, yeah, it looks quite cool, you know. You could imagine wiping someone's memory with it or something, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, warranty of the device. Now, it's covered by the shop's warranty. They say, you know, they don't cover any human errors. It's like a standard warranty, but you have to go through your distributor or your shop that you got it from to get that. So, yeah, standard warranty. Yeah. Okay, that about brings us towards the end of the uh, review for this. So we're going to run through the pros and cons of the device to sort of summarise it for you. As always, we're going to start with the cons. First up on the cons for me is the tank glass. I mean, you've got that little Cylon affair going on there, so but makes it really fucking difficult to see how much juice you've got left. You put it on the side and then you can kind of gauge it, but then you've got to think you're on the, the so then you put it back up again. and Yeah, you can kind of get a percentage of juice you've got in there, but it doesn't say where the coil is feeding it from, so you don't really know how relevant that is. Really? Putting it on its side like that, you just, you're able to see, okay, I've got a little bit of a dribble left, maybe give this a couple more hits, and then I'm going to be getting dry hits. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, reduced airflow? Yeah, right. Also, airflow control mm -hmm. ring. Bit stiff. It really it is. Really I mean, I know you, <clears throat> you, you said it was good in the unboxing video, but after, in, in operation, I know you're not going to use it a hell of a lot. Yeah. What is important is... When when you fix it down like this and you tighten it down and then you've got to push that back like that, if you're holding the rest of the mod, you're then unscrewing, unscrewing the whole yeah. lot because that just fixes and then you can't get it back because it's tight. So you've got to un undo it a little bit and then, and then you're undoing the top of that and then it's all fucked. Well, I'll take the fact that the airflow, even on wide open, is quite restricted. Okay, and then, and then, I'll, then take... I'll chime in with that. <clears throat> yeah. Next up on the cons list is going to be the airflow. It's quite restrictive, even on wide open. It's all right, but, you know, it's not amazing. Mm. While we're in the neck of the woods for the airflow control ring, in the unboxing video, we said it was a bit stiff, and, and that was nice. In operation of it, it's actually fixed 
so in as much as it goes open it stops it goes closed the other way and then it stops so you literally just got that field of movement on the airflow control ring and with it being stiff when you undo the the atomizer and fill your juice up and then you screw it back on again everything all starts coming apart and then going back together and then stiffening up and then everything starts coming apart again it's not a great implementation it really isn't yeah so if you, if you want to loosen that off you and the device is tight you've got to kind of loosen the tank off the top a little bit so it's not pinch too tight it's a little bit of a faff it's not a showstopper but it is a little bit of a faff so it, worth mentioning what well, it, it's important that to note that if you're going to be making a lot of adjustments to the airflow this this system is really going to fuck you off however if you're the type of person to just leave it wide open or you know somewhere find your sweet spot. find your seat sweet spot and then never fucking touch it ever again it's all right it's all right. So in terms of battery life, you know, this is a 26650 battery in here. Now, it, it's it's huge, huge amount of space here for a battery. I would have expected more than 3,000 milliamp hours. You know, you can quite easily buy 4,000 plus milliamp hour 26650. So why isn't that what's powering this, you know? Now, the, the performance of the battery is all right, but as always you know it could be better you know it's not bad don't get me wrong it's not bad but it, only 3000 milliamp hours why not more another one for the cons list is probably going to be the price of this now you can pick this up for as cheap as like 50 dollars from the heaven's gifts you know um but in the uk i've seen it like 55 pounds something like that totally wicked of running them for <laughs> so, uh, could be anyone. yeah uh. regardless yeah you know, it, it Cost-wise, it is not a cheap unit, you know, but for a complete kit, it's still an all-right price. Okay, that's enough ragging on it. Let's uh, talk about some of the pros and decent shit that it's got going for it now. First one I'm going to go for is the massive 5.8 milliliter tank. It is, you know, it is a good size tank, uh, which you would expect for a, a decent size unit. That said, where it is 26650, so it's not like a mega tall tank. You know, it's quite it's quite stubby, and uh, yeah, to have that juice capacity, that's really good. Next up on the pros is the uh, the tiny teeny tiny coils in there. I mean, considering the size of them, I know that when I when I use this, you're going to get a cloud shot now. Oh, look at it go. All that cloudy goodness. The tiny cores, when when you first see them and, and you think, shit, what did I buy? They are going to be crap. I'm going to get fuck all out of this. The first time you use it, you're just like, fucking hell, how the hell did that little, that little thing do that? Yeah, it's very impressive, very impressive. It is. for Yeah, Tony's got it right. You, you look at them tiny coils and think this is going to be shit, and then it sort of performs like something much bigger than that. You know, there's a lot of coils have been coming out lately that are just huge, you know, huge amounts of metal. You know, look at the Cleto. It's just the, like the Cleto coil is nearly the same size as the entire tank of this, you know. Um and while the coil isn't as good as the Cleto, it is good. It is mm. a good coil, and it's freaking tiny. So there's a feat of engineering gone on to make that happen. Yeah. It wicks all right as well. You know, we we generally use at least eighty twenty VG, uh, often ninety ten. You know, um, so that, that's really impressive. It, it handles it okay. Yeah. Another pro is going to be the simplicity of it. It's just a simple plug and play unit. You don't need to worry about the you know, resistance because it will just detect it and run for that. It's got quite a good resistance range as well. Um, you've got the light on there that tells you your charge level. It's all very, very simple, very easy. You just pick it up and go. And yeah, I like that. The other pro uh, to going back to the coils is the fact that they include two coils in it. One's a 0.5 ohm, the other is a 1 ohm coil. And they specifically say the 0.5 is for direct lung inhale and the 1 ohm is for mouth to lung. So they're catering for two different types of beginners there, maybe. Nextly um, is going to be the tank. Although I put the, the glass of the tank in the cons list, it, it also flips over to the the, the pros as well the fact i mean you can't see a lot of it it's a pain in the ass trying to see the amount of juice in there however it will stand up to any knocks 
Yeah, I mean, that, that's my last real pro about this. It, it's just such a solid unit. You compare it to similar devices, uh, and this is like the toughest one, you know. You have no worries about knocking it over and breaking your glass because it's all protected up in here. It's all a very sort of, you know, where it's wider. It's, it's just a solid, solid device. Even the drip tip, look at it, short and stubby, and it's like built like a rock you know it's awesome for for solidness so if you're someone who knocks devices about this could be a good one to look at you know okay guys so that about brings us to the end of this review for the wismic venti hope you enjoyed it also drop us a comment let us know if you'd like to see maybe a comparison video a versus video a face-off video with the iJust 2 or the C Fiber or maybe the iJust 2 and, and the C Fiber. Three way. Ooh. <laughs> Mexican standoff or you know the three way thing that he said. <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you've got any questions about this, hit us up in the comments or if you've got any questions about anything else, hit us up on here or the social medias. Um, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow us on the social medias. But for now, thanks for watching Smog Vlog. I even had the box around the right way. I forgot to check that <laughs> <laughs> result. <laughs> don't know your hand. <laughs> it's all right. It's In the excitement. Okay, next. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't know you. <clears throat> Going back to the top fill. There isn't a top fill. Going back to the bottom fill. Let's talk about the flavour now. Tony, how do you find the flavour? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Control, it wouldn't, wouldn't have fired. I know. It just dripped. Oh yeah, quite badly. <laughs> <laughs> he sprung a leak. <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative for you. If you've got any questions, as always, hit us a <laughs> that thing. <sighs> Fuck. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. You are done. <laughs> I am done. Oh, it hasn't recorded. No, it has. <laughs> Magic. I'm in an editing position.